everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Left. Uh, now we just flipped a switch that did power and I was under the assumption that it was going to turn these on. But oddly enough, no! I can't just wander out the door that says exit. That would make everything too easy and then the game would be over and then we wouldn't be threatened almost dying. So we gotta find another way to go over here. I bet I know what it did. It turned off the fan. Oh, if I would have just looked to the left, I would have noticed that. But I'm an idiot, and I don't actually look at my environment. So now I can go through here and not get diced up into little itty bitty pieces. And I can progress this way. Okay. So where does this lead if not away from the exit? Oh my god. That's cool. That looks really nice. Am I about to go for a ride? Whee! Oh boy. I can't move, so... I uh, better keep me safe! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Where'd this piece of wood come from? Oh, jeez. Ah! Ow! God damn it, how much blood force trauma is this poor guy gonna experience? What kind of madness governs this place? I have seen and heard strange things in my life, but it all pales in comparison. Who was that man? Whatever it is. I must be losing my mind. Or maybe there be monsters in here. I don't know which would be which, but you've gone through a lot. You have hit your head quite a lot. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if on the way down you just... Ooh. Hello? Oh, I'm coming too! Oh uh, yeah, I did suffer a concussion. Boy, I wish I could see something. Oh, oh, maybe a little bit. Hello. Ah, uh, that ain't good. What's with all the hanging bodies? There really couldn't have been that many people down here, could there, Batman? Maybe? I don't know. Come on. Snap to it. Mr. Dawn? Robert? Was his name Robbo? Robbo? Oh no. You've now been infested by the mushrooms. Oh, what the hell? that why why do I get magical powers I mean it's kind of awesome but I'm I'm super confused here can I pull these body bags towards me probably not hey dead guy did I land on you probably did I steal your power in some weird transference it did Okay then, I guess we're- I guess we just have this power then! Well, good thing we came down here, huh? Alrighty then. It just went all Bioshock all of a sudden. Which I'm not opposed to! Love me some Bio- Excuse you! Anyway, I definitely love me some Bioshock, but it's just a little confusing. Oh, ooh, can I- <gasps> Yeah! Yeah! Cool! I don't think it's going to protect me from any of the monsters unless I use my powers to boost them all over the place. Man, if someone gives me a chair after all this, they're going to get a shove so far up their butt with superpowers. Ah, lots of objects seem to be in my way. Well, too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't need to ever use my hands for doors again. Boink, get out of my way. I'm all powerful now. Maybe I can... <laughs> oh, it, oh, energy supplements. Once you're out of energy, your abilities will start to drain your health instead. Ah, oh, so I can't just... Oh, no! No! Get that back here! Get that back here! I need that! It didn't use it. Okay, so now that I have that, and I forget what button it wanted me to do that with, but... Okay. All right, I'll keep these with me. That is super weird but kind of cool. 
The Resonator 1. Due to recent incidents, the staff has come up with various plans containing countermeasures for the increasingly large number of people struck by the affliction. Preliminary progress has already been made in the development of the very first prototype of a resonance-type device. Its primary function will be that of a fail-safe device to secure the facilities and keep the staff safe from harm. From what? What is exactly the affliction? That's what's confusing here. Is the affliction like something where some people are affected positively with it and some people are affected negatively by it? Maybe. I've been able to extract another substance from the black liquid, and unlike the previous, this particular fluid radiates in a brilliant blue color. The rats I was able to catch have proven useful for more than a few reasons. I have let my imagination run wild, but for whatever I do to them, the restorative tincture seems to keep them alive. Oh! Your murder imagination! The- the murder imagination! Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to- Here- yeah, I got that! Ooh, it revealed! It revealed! What did that do? Oh. Ah, yes! Okay, that's probably good. I really hope that this power doesn't, like, make me powerful against monsters or something, because I- I'm hoping it's exclusively for puzzle solving, because that would be pretty darn amazing, because I don't need it to battle monsters. I don't want to battle monsters anyway. Get out of- get out of my way. Get out of my way, okay. Because when it comes to monsters, I want it to remain pure that I'm completely powerless against them, which I think is a great mechanic in horror games in general. Ooh, where's this lead? Hello. Hi. Habiski! 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 Bloom! Okay, got those. Good for me. Is this a no? Uh, sorry, excuse me. It's still very dark. Oh, it's so dark. Hello. Okay. Okay. What's that? A bit. Okay. Oh, it's a yellow liquid. Okay. So is that gonna be another element in this entire endeavor? Because the yellow liquid seems to be powering a lot of things. It was powering the, uh, elevator before, so it must be their energy source. In my studies of the black liquid, I have discovered I'm able to refine part of the substance. By no means should this be considered a complete set of instructions, but rather a simplified explanation. I started out by heating the substance and then filter out the clumped residue, and then finally after the purification of the resulting fluid, I treat it with a varied amalgamation of acidic compounds. Curiously, the resulting characteristics differ wildly depending on the mixture used. This will definitely require some further experimentation. So this must be some of the refinement that he's doing here. Huh. Oh! Sorry! D didn't mean to do that! Ooh. Danger. Corrosive material. Where? Oh, it's a wall! I couldn't even tell that it was a wall! Damn, is there like a lever or something? There's no lights! No lights! Can I push this one? No, that one's no good. Okay. Oh, maybe I was supposed to pick this up and fill it up. Ooh, that would make sense. Maybe- ooh, hello. Basky! Oh, fragile! I don't know what that means! Am I supposed to be able to break this? Ah, there we go! Hello. What does this do? No, no, no. Eh. Oh. Oh, that probably restores my blue. Cool. Another day of no one listening to me at all. The Resonator 2. The resonance type device is designed to act as both a sensor and a deterrent. The first part of the sensor is a simple variable pitch electronic oscillator embedded into and in contact with the metal hull to act as an antenna. With the other part being a standard frequency oscillator. Under normal circumstances, the oscillator frequencies will match and the device will remain idle. But once the increased cell density and interference from an afflicted patient enters the magnetic field, however, the oscillators will be out of tune. When this occurs, the device will trigger the three steel discs embedded inside. They will start rotating in close proximity, permeating the area with a high-pitched vibration that will only affect the afflicted. The vibration causes them great discomfort and makes them increasingly disoriented, quickly driving them away. Okay, so am I supposed to use that as a deterrent against the horrible monstrosities that are after me, correct? At least that's my understanding of what's going on here. I don't have a resonator, to be said. I don't know where the resonator is, and I can't exactly go down this hallway because it's blocked off. Oh! Ah, here we go. Okay, so, ah, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, and I know how to puzzle it. Boink! Hooray! 
Yay! Whatever the weird yellow goop, that's what I was supposed to do, and hopefully this works now, yes? Ooh, finally, a goddamn door that works. I've been surrounded by all the broken machinery, now they actually have an avenue to actually do something. Ooh. Well, this is a big underground cavern with more bodies. Jesus. Why so many bodies? I'm starting to piece together that they were running some kind of, like, operation. Not an operation, like, they were running some kind of an experimentation business, and they found a substance and they were trying to build something around all of it. And that's all well and good, but... Hi! I just imagine that they weren't exactly telling the workers that were down here what they were supposed to be doing. Oh, am I supposed to... I think I'm supposed to use these as, like, a staircase? Or a stepping stone? To get across the black goop? Probably. Mm. I'm running out of goopy, and I don't exactly know how much more I'm gonna have. Alright, hoop! Yup! 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 Okay. Oh shit. Well, I don't have more. Damn, I need more stuff. That'll be enough! Ow! 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 Okay, fine then! We'll take some damage! Oh, up arrow! Good! Thank you! To heaven! I don't think that's gonna help me! Thank you, though! I appreciate the offer. Oh, god damn it. Oh, come on! Get back here! Don't you run away from me, the big box Larry! There's no tiny box Tim around here! Just you and me, Larry. Yep. No? That ain't it, I need another thing. Okay. That'll probably be enough. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Okay, so now where? Ooh, thank you. Was I even supposed to go this way? I think so, because that was going to give me the thing that I needed to get. So, what was the button for Goopy? Ah, R, okay, got it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is there something behind that? Yes, sir. Get out of my way! Get out of me way! Thank you. Alright, moving on. Okay. Hello. I am pleased to see that the costly machinery is still operational in spite of recent events. Undoubtedly, it will not take long before everything will break down and leave me in the dark. But I am positive I will have a solution to some of these annoyances before this happens. Signed, Dr. Rosenberg. So you were just left down here alone after everyone was dying around you and these people became afflicted? And you just kind of went with it and it's a mere annoyance to you that all these humans started going crazy? Probably. So what am I supposed to do here? Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to go that way just yet. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Ah! By Odin's beard! Once again, I have no idea what... Hi! Oh! Is that the resonator? Oh! Oh my god! Hi! That looks so cool! That's so cool! What with your flaming eyes, dear Odin, sir? Oh, is that the resonator? I believe that's the resonator, but it doesn't seem to be affecting me. Which is probably a good thing because hopefully I'm not affected just yet. Whoa, that's cool! That's so cool! Okay. So that's neato. I'm doing a good job of finding all of the secret places for Hi. Okay. Weird. Ugh. Oh, don't do that to me. What is that? What is that? God, it's so dark. I can't see goddamn squat! Hello. Weird vibrating device. Ew. Did that do something? I don't know what that did. But the shaking stopped, so that was good. Okay, so if I go back, am I gonna find something else? Is there so Oh, no, there was other avenues in Odin's room. Oh, uh, okay. Barrel, stop following me, you son of a bitch. It hurts! It hurts! I don't think I'm supposed to open that because I kind of want that running. 
because I'm assuming that that's gonna be something that I need for the monsters. They're giving me so many ways to stop the monsters, and yet I haven't seen them! Oh, hey. Oh god, another one over there. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to shut- hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Just wanted to make sure you were actually dead. I hate it when I'm wandering around and things that I assume are dead come up and get me. Ah! Uh. Ah! Okay. Okay. Ah, there we go. Ha da! That was an easy puzzle. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. Okay, so what did that do? Okay, now that one's done, but what were they powering is the question. Must have been. Maybe it was Odin. Maybe they were powering Odin. Okay. Is Odin done? <laughs> oh. Ah! Okay! I- I said that I didn't want that thing to be stopped! Uh, hey. Ah! Oh fuck! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Hey! I'll fight you, bitch! Hey! I'll shove this straight up your butthole if you even have one! That's right, you better run away. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, he heard that! You wanna fight, bruh? Come on! Come on! Yeah! Oh, angry! Oh man, that's funny. Oh, we get stopped by a box. Oh, fuck you, bro! Oh, jeez. That hurt him. That got him good. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, running, running, running. Yeah, he ain't too bad. Uh, he ain't too bad. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Where do I go? Ah! Uh, give me that. Give me that. Go. Fuck, give me. Ah! Holy shit balls. Okay. Okay, what do I do? What do I. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Lord of Daddy! Okay, go this way now. Ooh, red light glowing! That ain't good! That's not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, I fucked up. I'm out of stamina. Oh, I fucked it! Oh, I fucked it! I have fucked it! What is that? Is this- is this an explodey? Ah, oh, this is fragile. I should blast this on his ass. Hey, come here! I got an ass blast for you. Ah! You're right there! Holy shit! Oh, you broke it! I'm gonna take this! It was food! Shit! Oh, God, he broke all that shit! Ah, fuck. He's much more unstoppable than I thought he was. I'm fucked. You'll never find me. I'm creeping behind boxes, there's no way. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Like I've said many times before, I'm a wild animal when I'm quartered. I'll scream in your face, and it'll hurt your ears, and then you go crying to mommy. Oh wait, no, that's me. Does this have a good time, bro? He forgot I was here. What an idiot. What a loser. Okay. We well, might be standing right there, but I just won't be able to see him. Oh, Whoa! Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, where do I go? I can't see guy. Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Holy crap balls. I didn't even know where he was. What am I supposed to do? I can't do anything. Oh, God. Why did I stop this bullshit thing? Fuck, man, I'm an idiot! I'm a goddamn- oh, I can't run, I'm out of stam. Okay. Jeez. Ah, man, come on, dude. Dude? Dude, man? Dude, man? Okay. So. Good golly. That was a thing. I'm so mad! I couldn't find him no more! That Markiplier, he's such a slippery bitch. I'll go crazy, my mommy. Okay. So, did he go away? I don't know. That might have been the disappointed huff of him being done, but let's not be too testy here. I mean, I don't want to go hiding in a corner forever and ever, but I want to know. Oh, man. Okay, so obviously, this is where- Oh, there was a switch watch! I was in too much of a panic to even notice that! Oh, and it's slow, too. So obviously, I would have been running around in a circle waiting for the guy to not- Ooh. Thank you! For that. It was very useful. I appreciate that very much. Okay. Well! We finally got to have a good old meeting with the monster! That was more terrifying than I thought it'd be. He was, um, persistent. I thought he was goofy because he was flipping that box over. I thought he'd be stopped by that, but apparently, uh, 
Apparently he's faster and smarter than I thought he was. And then I gave him credit for it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright. Um, excuse me. Are you guys hiding a secret over here? Ah, okay. Just a simple elevator door. Ah, good. This looks comforting. So what was the point of that room? Was there anything in there? Um, I'm not- I'm not too keen on being completionist about this, so... Keep moving. And what does CR stand for, anyway? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, it's already here. Okay, so that's fine. Is there anything over here? Nope, I must have missed the last note somewhere, probably in that back room over there. Okay, but that's fine! That's fine! I'm not too worried about it, it's okay. I wonder if this is gonna crash on me, too. I wonder if I'm gonna get another concussion. What is happening to me? I can move objects without touching them. And when I approached this device, it suddenly reacted to my presence as if it had an awareness of its own. Is this what happened to everybody? Did they lose their minds? Yeah, probably. I'm 100% uh, sure that's what it is. And you're actually affected or afflicted, which means that you're infected with whatever the hell is killing everybody in this place. And the reason why they're all bagged up in body bags strewn across the floor. Okay, so where am I now and why is it closed off? Absolutely everything is closed off. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, another body. How many bodies? Can someone do an actual count of how many bodies I've come across? Diary of the Affliction. Due to the recent outbreak, I have been requested to assist the medical staff in their duties as they are currently lacking personnel to deal with it effectively. And as a result, I suspect I will have to suspend my regular activities. The patients will be introduced to me starting tomorrow. Only seven of them have survived the affliction, and I fear some of them are too weak to survive another week without a sufficiently effective treatment. We must make haste! In order to be able to monitor their status, I will be keeping a log of sorts, a diary if you will, and this will be its preface. Signed, Dr. Rosenberg. Well, this almost seems like you care, but I'm of the understanding that over time you're gonna lose your mind and then start not caring about everybody and then, you know, being generally a douche nozzle about things. Oh, hello. Water! Delicious water! It replenishes both health and blue juice. Blue goo. Alright, so... I turned down the oxygen, but why? Why did I need to turn down the oxygen? Oh, it's turning up the oxygen. Oh. So up and down, I can do it both. But what's the benefit? Uh, I can remove the flooring. I didn't even think of that. That's kind of cool. It seems so solidly in pace. Oh, okay. So I bet I just need to change the flow of oxygen. Ah. Okay, is that all I can remove? That is, okay. So I bet if I turn it on again, it's gonna change the position of it, but I can... No? It's still going in both places. Huh. Maybe I just need to go the other way. Oh, there's nothing over there. Well, that's probably gonna hurt, right? <clears throat> yep, that hurt. Can't go through there. Damn it. Okay, then. Well, ain't this a conundrum, and why can't I get out of here anymore? It wouldn't stop letting me out before. Why all of a sudden can I not get out now? Okay, that's a load of ass. Get down here. What is that? Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's gotta be some- Oh, there's another one. I didn't see it because it wasn't in the light, and I'm a big dumb doofy doo, and I don't know what I'm doing. Great. Okay, carrying on. Ignore my stupidity, please. Please forgive me for being such an idiot because I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Seems awfully dank in here. Someone been smoking. I can't. Oh, there's a ladder. Once again, can't see shit. I've tried turning up the brightness, too, on my end, because it's just so unbelievably dark. Dork. And if I turn off the brightness, it's probably gonna affect things on your end. But maybe I'll do it for the next episode, because I'm absolutely blasted in the dark here. Hello. High pressure. Why is everything high pressure around you? I heard that. What the fuck was that? Why did I turn the pressure up? Stop! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that. Ah, okay. Good. Get out of me way. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I thought that was actual thing. Just fire. Just hot fire. Alrighty then. 
So... Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. So... Ah, okay, so now the fire would be out and I will be able to traverse that. Okay. And where does this lead me? Why did it suddenly lit on fire as soon as it sounded there? Just don't do that. Stop doing that. You're doing that on purpose! I know you are, because you're a dillweed hole. Oh, good. It's over here. Anything? No. Oh, boy. Oh, is that outside? Is that D outside? Oh, boy. I think so, yes. Oh. I didn't actually expect that to open. Okay, so I've got a choice here, and I'm gonna wait until the next episode to get to it, so... Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. It's starting to get more spoopy in here, which is a good thing. So we'll see more spoopy later on. So thanks again, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! There we go. Got him. Uh-oh. Wait, no! Oh, no, no, no! No! Oh, no!